Hey guys, what's up? Uh, so today I want to show you guys how to set up uh, TP-Link AC600 dual band USB adapter. Um, I'm using this because I just upgraded my computer and my new motherboard does not have onboard Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. This way I have access to Wi-Fi. I use Ethernet anyway. Um, I'm hardwired. But, you know, if there's ever a time where my Wi-Fi router goes down or there's just a bad signal um, in the area, you know, maybe there's a storm or problems with the network, um, I'll be able to tether off of my phone or another internet device in order to get access to the internet on my computer. Um, for those of you that already know what all that is, um, then this is not for you, but this is for someone that um, maybe doesn't really have too much familiarity with it um, and is just looking for a simple go-to way to do it. Also, in the process, I'll be giving you my thoughts on this current product. This was purchased off of Amazon. Uh, it was inexpensive. I want to say it was under 20 bucks. Um, the price might have already changed uh, in a short period of time since I've ordered it. Um, but I will go ahead and leave a link for the product in the description below. And if you guys um, are interested in the product, I would appreciate it if you use that affiliate link. Um, that will earn me a couple of pennies, literally. Um, but, you know, if enough people use it, it adds up. Um, and, it, you know, I want to use that money to put it back into the channel i'm going to try to get some new equipment um, to make better quality videos um, so i would appreciate that all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and unbox this once it's unboxed i'll show you guys how how it looks what comes in the box then um, i'll go ahead and get this connected um, and show you guys you know what it looks like um, so actually, before we do that, um, now you know what, I'll do that in the next step. Alright guys, be right back. Let me unbox this. Alright guys, so I went ahead and just took the packaging off. A little hard to do with one hand. Had to use my cutter there, the box cutter. Go ahead and take this out of the box. Alright, so it comes with the plastic wrapper, then here's the box. Sorry for all that unnecessary movement, but it's hard to do with one hand. Um, and basically that's what you're getting. There's your TP-Link Wi-Fi adapter. AC600. Um, and again, it's the high green wireless dual band USB adapter, 433 megabytes on 5 gigahertz, 200 megabytes per second on 2.4 gigahertz. Um, not the fastest, but um, I think I'm getting 500 up, 500 down. So, you know, I'm. I'm if I'm using Wi-Fi, which will be almost never, uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm, I'm hardwired, so I don't, I don't really plan on using it very often. Uh, it's more of a backup, like I said, if the router goes down, um, you know, I can tether off of my phone. But, um, yeah, it was inexpensive. Like I said, I believe it was less than 20 bucks. Amazon Prime shipping, um, not bad. Maybe someday I'll upgrade to a, a faster one, but it's more than adequate for a backup. Uh, and, and there you get your instructions. You get a disc. And uh, that's it. All right, let's go ahead and take this out of the box. Very good ratings on Amazon as well.
All right, and I do want to show you guys real quick that um, you can see here that I am hardwired. There's no option for Wi-Fi here. All right. Same thing here, no option for Wi-Fi. So you guys know I'm telling you the truth. Um, yeah, by the way, this is my page. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, turn on that notification bell. Tell a friend of a friend who's a friend of a friend if they're looking for any uh, normal day-to-day -day videos on how-tos or just everyday products or tech news or whatever I do it all uh, I don't discriminate I'll do videos on almost anything um, that's why I'm rando so yeah alright so I'm gonna go ahead and start the process um, and then I'll, I'll show you guys how everything's working um, you know I, I can't do too much I don't want to you know because I gotta put in my my Wi-Fi password and everything so uh, let me get some stuff set up and then we'll go over um, what the next step is okay be right back guys all right guys so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna plug in the Wi-Fi adapter to an available USB port either in the front or back of your computer I'd recommend the back this way it's out of the way and you don't have this big ugly thing you know like in my case sticking out right here um, you know which is just embarrassing um, I'd recommend just putting it in the back there like I have it so no one can see it um, and then once it's plugged in you'll get that ding 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 that it recognizes uh, the device And then uh, you can see here it recognized the TP-Link wireless adapter so we're good to go it's recognizing which is always good so now what we need to do um, like I said it comes with the disk that's um, that has the drivers so you can install the, the uh, CD-ROM um, I have a CD-ROM but I actually disconnected the port because every time I turn on my computer it's loud and I don't I don't really use it it's just to kind of have um, when I built it this computer I just wanted it just to have it but I'm not gonna use it um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step into the uh, the new year uh, 2023 and I'm gonna go ahead and follow this link here and just download the drivers from their website so we're going to go to HTTPS. Oh, this is hard to do with one hand. Hold on. OK. Sorry. And then we're going to do TP-Link dot com slash download center sorry it seems like I'm typing like I'm a hundred years old but I'm doing this one-handed uh, so it's a, a lot slower than uh, I'd normally be doing this whole process but uh, there's the link there and that takes you to TP link site um, and basically we're going to need now to look for the driver um, so basically we're going to type in the model which is a c6 oops 600 and uh home okay so it's saying that's not the model number maybe it's uh oh uh if i have to type in the serial number oh i'm sorry it's actually called archer 
that's the the band. Sorry about that. Archer T two U the name. And there we are. Archer, so now we gotta make sure we got the right one. Archer T U. But there's also there's Archer T U and then there's Archer T U plus. This is Archer T U plus. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And then it's telling us what the latest drivers are. So basically this is the latest driver right here. File size 14.53 megabytes. Windows 10, Windows 11. And this is the most recent, uh, January 21st, 2021. So we're gonna go ahead and download this. Okay. Open that up. Set up. Okay, yes. And it's installing. And I'm just going to keep my phone down a little bit um, just in case uh, some personal information starts popping up. So just a second here. All right, so it says after it downloads, it says click OK. All right, so we have the driver installed and I believe that's it. Um, let's take a look here. Yeah, so once that's installed, see here yes um, so basically now you can see once you install the driver that's basically all you, all you need to do you can see now that I have the Wi-Fi icon and that's it at that point you'll be able to easily choose your network put in your password and you're surfing, you're surfing the web like it's 1997, you're surfing the web. And that's it. Real simple. Um, yeah, pretty much oh, almost plug and play. Almost plug and play, you know, with the exception of downloading a driver, which literally took 10 seconds. Um, automatically, the driver is installed, recognizes the device. Super quick response. They communicate very well. TP-Link, awesome product. I have the, one of their routers. Um, that's actually what I'm using for my, my home internet, their router. Um, awesome, very reliable. So right off the bat, you guys just saw me unbox it. I just plugged it in. I couldn't show you that because I can't reach to the back of the computer while holding the, you know, the camera. But basically, I literally unboxed it in front of you, plugged it in, downloaded the driver. There's the icon. Super, super easy. Um, and again, I bought this off of Amazon. And I'll tell you, you know, I'll leave a link for the product in the description below. But telling you right now, I believe I paid, it was definitely less than 20 uh, let's see exactly how much. Hopefully it didn't decrease. I mean increase. So I paid $16.99. So if you look here, I paid $16.99. Right, package left at the front door, right? Um, let's go ahead and open this up. What are they charging today? Still $16.99 and it's overnight. Um, now that does depend on your location. But overnight, $16.99, 
prime, excellent ratings. We all know TP-Link, trusted uh, name in the wireless and uh, internet industry. So uh, yeah, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, this is just a small little video. Most of you know how to do this. There are some that don't. I'm just trying to get some videos for you guys and also um, share things that I buy that I use every day. Products, you know, like I said, the new motherboard didn't come with the Wi-Fi. It also didn't come with Bluetooth. I've just built a budget gaming PC. So I had to make some sacrifices, right? Um, I got a very good deal on the processor with the board. You know, what's a couple more dollars uh, for the Bluetooth and that, you know, and, and the wireless, the Wi-Fi adapter. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you're still saving money. You're getting a better overall experience. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, peace.